Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something just for fun. Um, so I've been watching a lot of Good Mythical Morning lately and I was reminded of the whole speech jammer thing. So I thought it would be fun to speech jam myself while I do a makeup tutorial. <laughs> I'm gonna make a fool of myself, but I think it'll be fun. So, let's just go ahead and get started. So what I've got here on my, uh, I have to wear some headphones, and uh, I have an app on my phone that it's connected to that basically delays my speech for a few seconds. So, if we give this a, if, if we give this a start, it's like I'm trying to catch up with myself while I talk. So let's try this. Okay. So first thing first, we have to get a primer. Well, we gotta take my glasses off first. So, let me move my phone closer so I can. How about that? Oh, okay. That'll work. <laughs> okay, so for our primer, let's... I haven't used this one in a while. Let's use the Touch, touch of Soul No Pore Bloom Primer. I really like the consistency of this one. It's a little slippy, a little slidey. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, it's pretty high silicone, but I like it. Very smooth on the skin. We have our primer on. Very smooth. Ugh. Now we need to do a foundation. Let's use Old Faithful. I have my Dr. Chart Black Label Detox Beauty Balm. I did that okay. Just put two squirts on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take a beauty blender so it's not, it's Japanese. And I'm gonna pounce that in. We're not doing anything too complicated to say. <laughs> uh, oh, I got foundation on my arm. So, now that we have our foundation on, and it's uh, very light, we're gonna get our concealer. We've got a concealer, and we're going to use the First Day Beauty. Bindi Avocado Concealer. <laughs> a little mirror. Well, that's hard to open. I'm just doing my under eye and some highlight G-spots. And then we're gonna blend.
the best spots for your liquid concealer are under your eyes. I put some on my nose and like any pro problem spots like on my cheeks and then on my forehead and chin. So now that we've done concealer and foundation, we need to set the under our eye. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Becca multi-multitasking perfect powder <sighs> okay. I just take a little bit of this <laughs> on my sponge and dab it on my under eye under eye yeah and on my nose Cool, cool. Okay. We put that up. And now we're gonna use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. Primed and Poreless Skin Smooth Thing. Press powder there. I'm going to take a little kabuki brush it keeps stopping which is super annoying. I wonder where I should put it. I'll put it here. I'll put drawer. Okay. Now we've done our base. It's time to do brows. I'm using the pony effect. Blossom lasting eyebrow pencil in ash brown. This is my favorite eyebrow pencil. It has a little angle, kind of triangular shape, and uh, it does a good job. So when I do my brows, I start by making a line on the underside to get the shape, and then I do the angle, and then I fill in. This is so disorienting. You wouldn't think it would be that hard, but it is. It's very hard. So now we've done our brows. And it's time to contour. I'm gonna use what I have in my hand, which is the NARS Contour Duo in Pal Paloma. And I'm gonna take this Becca brush and just tap it in lightly.
and I'm going to very softly carve out my cheek bones. I don't do too heavy contouring. I just do a little bit on my cheeks and a little bit up here. Even though no nobody sees it. Okay. That will do for the contour. Now we need to do eyeshadow. So I'm going to grab my eye primer, which I'm using the Marc Jacobs Undercover Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. There we go. I didn't know how much of a struggle this would be when I started. I'm going to use the Smashbox single in vanilla to set my lids. Okay. Because of our situation, I don't want to do anything too complicated. So I'm going to take the Becca Ombre Nudes eye palette, which looks like this. It's just some matte browns and stuff. So with this big fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with this first light shade and that's gonna go into my crease because it's light I can go up a little higher to make the base for my blend. Okay, that's a good start. I'm going to take this IT Cosmetics brush. It has a little fluffy end. And I'm going to go into this shade. Shade number four. And I'm going to darken up my outer corner. Okay, there's our matte eyes. Now, I have, I have these little Stila Bear With Flare Eyeshadows duos. Now, your natural 
indicate in inclination might be to go in with kitten which is the champagne neutral eyeshadow but we're not gonna do that we're gonna subvert expectations and we're gonna use rose quartz which is like a purple so I'm gonna actually put down some glitter glue this is the NYX glitter glue which I think works quite well we just need a tiny tiny little bit on the lid so once that's down we're gonna put my finger in this darker shade on the left Ooh, fall out too much of my finger but we're gonna put that on the lid and it creates a little more interest than using a brown or a champagne now we're gonna go into the lighter kind of glittery shade and that's gonna go in my inner corner So now we have this light purpley lilac sparkle. It's all very pretty. Cleaning off my fingers. It's time for liner. I'm going to go in with a stylish black eyeliner this came in a korean beauty box because oh no i messed up when i talked fantastic i was gonna say because i have hooded eyes I don't want to do a really big cat eye. It's more of a kitten eye. You know what I mean? Just a slight flick on the end. I've got so much glitter on my face. That will do. Now it's time for blush. I think I'm going to take this Moonshot Air Blusher in Soft Peony. I talked about this briefly but I haven't used it on camera I go a bit high with my blush because I feel like it gives a really youthful flush This blush is pretty subtle. Put a little bit on my nose. But it's quite pretty. Not too intense. Just a nice neutral pink blush. 
So now that we've done our blush, it's time for our highlighter. I'm going to take Becca's Royal Glow because this is the highlighter I've been loving lately. I've got this Suva Beauty 140 brush, which is a tapered fluff brush. And we're going to buff that into the cheekbones. highlighter done it's time to finish our eyes I'm gonna use this mini hourglass caution, caution mascara you were wondering. It makes my lashes long and uh, good volume. Okay, now lips are the only thing that's left. I'm going to take one of my favorite summer lips. This is the Kaja Heart Melters We Talk. But you see, it's a little hard. Which, as you can see, this is a pretty pink, not too sheer, but it has good pigment to it, uh, kind of glossy lipstick. So with that done, we just have to do our setting spray. I'm using the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dew Mist. I couldn't read that for a second. So there's our dew mist. So as we can see, this is just a nice kind of basic look with a little bit of interest because of the eye color I picked. So that's it. <laughs> I hope having me speech jammed for this tutorial was fun and not annoying. It was probably a little bit a bit of both but I thought I would give it give it give it a try just for f fun so like this video subscribe I would love that and let me know what you want to see next time remember you are beautiful and you uh, are loved until next time guys bye